Hi there, it's Kurt with Kurt Tanner Motor Cars. Today we have an offer of this 1969 MGB Roadster. It's, uh, it's finished in British Racing Green with black interior, black powder coated wire wheels. This car is a four speed overdrive car and uh, it was probably delivered that way from the factory. So real desirable options here. Um, we purchased this car in Oregon and um, runs and drives nicely and um, it was painted and the gentleman we bought it from I think he was a younger guy I think he bought this from his neighbor who kind of ran out of steam and he and he finished up the interior got it running and driving and and sold it to us um, it does have these blacked out bumpers which I'm not really fond of and this blacked out um, blacked out uh, luggage rack but um, I do love these blacked out wire wheels. I, I really, I really like that look on these cars or, or body color even. It gives it kind of a, kind of a modern up to date look. But, uh, but you know, from here, from 10 feet, it is a really attractive car. When you get up close to it, you can start picking a few holes in the paint. You know, you've got some, some things going on here. There's a bit of, little bit of filler to make that light rounded a bit uh, there's a little chip here you know body works okay but you can see here they just didn't really prep paint work that great but a um, couple chips here you know just just if you go panel by panel there's just little you know little knickknacks which I can kind of um, kind of uh, point out a uh, little tiny bit of bubbling down in this this lower corner um, you know, paints, paints probably a five or six out of 10, I would give it. So, but you know, if you're looking for a driver for a British racing green, black wire wheeled overdrive MGB in a good year, this isn't a bad little car, you know? So, um, you can see here, it does have some really good eyeball, but you know, if you get up really, really close and get super picky, you can see just some knickknacks. So, you know, really good 10 foot paint. Um, the car does have a great look with those wire wheels. We are supplying a set of bumpers for the car, like some good used chrome bumpers. So uh, the first thing I would do is switch out those, those bumpers and put them back chrome again. But, you know, like I said, this is paint you can live with for a while. It's it's not bad, it's it's real attractive. You don't have to worry about getting it scraped when you're, uh, when you're at a restaurant because it's not a, a very high dollar paint job, but it does cover the car nicely and protect its metal and, you know, has a, has a decent finish on it for uh, just an around town driver. So, you know, not bad, but the body's not bad at all. Good panel fit, lovely grill fit. Um, I like that, you know, that early style um, chrome grill. Windshield's the original, it's the original triplex, but you know, it's got a little light scraper mark here and you can see it's had its fair share of just little, little tiny pebbles and stones hitting it. So, um, but yeah, let me take you on a tour of the interior interior is quite nice actually uh, I don't think these are the correct seats for this year model these are more like a 71 or a 70 the car is a 69 you know you could just remove the headrests if you wanted a more original look but you know these are these are some of the most comfortable MGB seats for this year so you sit nice and low in the car and uh, dash is in really good condition um, there is a dash cap fitted um, visors look decent here original steering wheel which is great I don't think that horn pushes the original but you know you can change that back but nice center console nice instruments gauges um, I believe the oil pressure gauges are working but the other ones were um, but but nice loop brand new loop carpet kit you can see that's been fitted rubber floor mats over those original carpets that he's just put in the kit with so that's great seats are in lovely condition these must be out of like an exceptionally low mileage car because they're the original upholstery and they're just absolutely perfect so beautiful seats let me show you the door panels here 
door panels are in lovely condition, both sides. Uh, new door seals fitted. Um, there is no soft top for this car. I believe, I believe it came in with a hard top and we're gonna, we're gonna investigate that and show pictures of the hard top. But, um, but yeah, it's hard top only. And, um, but this is like a perfect original soft top boot that comes with the car. Let's go around here and I'll show you the upholstery again. So yeah, this is the other door panel on this side. Really good condition. So yeah, not nice trim. Very nice, just ready to go. Turnkey upholstery, great condition. I'll show you the trunk here. Trunk is chock full of some bits. Um, extra set of carbs, air cleaners. I believe this car is fitted with a Weber. We're gonna take a look there and, uh, and have a look. But yeah, a matching fifth tire, spare. There's a new tonneau cover. There's some more weather equipment here. Um, oh, there's some overriders there, which are gonna go with the four bumpers, the two bumpers we're providing. But yeah, the trunk's all been nicely painted. It's got a little mat there. Let's look at the engine compartment, see what's under here. I just drove this car, so I got a sneaky suspicion it's got a Weber fitted. Yep, there it is. Really nice brand new Weber fitted, so car runs great. Engine looks rebuilt to me, so that's all nicely clean and painted. Um, I don't think we have any documentation on the engine, but you can just look at it. There's not, a, there's not an ounce of oil on it, so there's a very good chance it's been rebuilt. But uh, yeah, green engine compartment, Weber fitted. Um, looks like it's got the original twin downdraft, I mean the twin exhaust manifold, which is nice. Uh, no hits up front here. So pretty good honest body. Looks like the radiator's been done. All this looks refreshed and new. So there's a very good chance uh, the engine's been rebuilt on this one. Brakes look new. Let's shut that. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's quite an attractive 69 Roadster. It's finished in British Racing Green with black. It is a factory wire wheel overdrive car, which is really desirable. I took this out on the road just now. It drives quite nice. I mean, it rolls along smoothly on these tires. The engine's real silent, quiet. Um, everything's operating nice. It's shifting great. So real impressive mechanicals. Um, I, I flicked the overdrive switch several times. I couldn't get it working, but usually it's just, uh, it's just minor stuff like connections and relays and, you know, minor, minor electrical stuff like that. So, but yeah, if you can get that overdrive working, you've got a, you've got a really desirable little car here because it's going to be a factory wire wheeled overdrive car, British racing, green, black. I believe we have a hard top for this car that comes with it. It's, I think it's a hard top with a sunroof in it. So it's kind of an interesting, interesting option, but, um, but a soft top's available on eBay. If you look on eBay, you can buy a soft top frame for a couple hundred bucks and, and off you go buy a new soft top and you got, you got your soft top and hard top combination. So, so there it is. 1969 MGB Roadster, British racing green, black wire wheels, four speed with overdrive, and it's for sale right now on our website, www.kurt10, 